Yo, what's going on everybody? It is Arcanize here, back with another video for you guys. So today, I'm going to be talking about the DC Universe streaming service, and is it dying? But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button for new videos every single day. Now, the DC Universe streaming service is an interesting one, because... It's never really been going strong. A lot of my friends love it. I love it. It lets me watch all these DC shows, movies, that would be difficult to watch otherwise, as well as original content like Titans and Young Justice Outsiders. But is it actually performing well? And the answer, not Really, it's been out for five months, and it's not really doing that much. And in this video, I want to go over, you know, what I think has gone wrong, what I think they can do to fix it. So, the main thing that just seems really obvious to me is why the heck wouldn't you release it at the global market? Like, who makes a streaming service and just releases it in one country? It makes it so difficult for countries in the rest of the world to watch this stuff. And if they just make it worldwide, they'd have so much more income, so many more people watching. And I think it'd just be a smart move. I don't know why they only released it in the U.S. That seems kind of dumb to me. And I think if they did that, boom, sales go up. Now, I also think they need to put more stuff on there. Like, this is a DC streaming service. It's the first one they've done. They have access to all of this. Put everything on there. It took The Batman five months to get on DC Universe. That should not be a thing. Find a digital copy of the show or movie, put it on there. That would get more people into it because right now, there are still so many things they don't have on there that they could have. And they've taken stuff off too. Like, just put everything you have on DC Universe. It shouldn't be that hard. Like, just find a digital copy, slap it on. I get it, I get it if it was like you actually had to distribute it or something. But, like, bro, just find a copy, put it on there. Like, get everything on here. It'll get more people in. More people will come for what they want to watch. Because right now, they don't have some of the stuff that we want to watch. And it's just stupid, because this is a DC Universe streaming service. Put it on there. Get everything on there. I want to watch all these different movies, and I get they're cycling things in and out, but like, bruh, just have everything on there, and I think people would really enjoy it, and they also need to fix the app's bugs, because the app is just kind of broken. <laughs> I'll be watching, and there are just so many things that I don't love about the app. I like it enough to use it, because it has all my shows and movies that I love to watch, but there are quite a few glitches, and I think if they fix these, then again, people would like it a lot more. Because if you go to the App Store, it only has like 3 out of 5 stars. And that's not amazing for a huge app like this. So I think you put it on a global market, you throw everything you have on there, you fix the bugs, and I think it can do well. Also, they didn't do a good job marketing Doom Patrol, but that'll be coming out next Friday, which will probably revive it a little bit. And yeah, that's what I think DC Universe needs to do. Will it survive? What do you think? Thank you all so much for watching. Stay strong and peace out. A little strong